Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add meta boxes to your WordPress theme. Um, in this particular case I'm going to use CMV2. Another uh, popular meta box plugin is Advanced Custom Fields, which is nice, but this day and age in my development cycle I've been using CMV2. Uh, I think it's more developer isk I would should say uh, advanced custom fields has the fancy GUI that you know users can add and update their meta fields unless you hide that field or whatever but I may do some uh, tutorials on advanced custom fields in the future but for this one I'm just going to use uh, CMB2 because personally I've been liking it more these days so there's a couple ways you can add it you can add it as a plugin you can add it into your theme you can add it as an external plugin. In this case, I'm going to just add a new plugin from my dashboard. CMV2. Install this bad boy. And then activate it. Once it's activated, we can start adding um, the functions to get these meta boxes displayed. So uh, CMV2 has a nice wiki page that goes over a quick start, which is pretty much what I'm going to follow. So, like I said, this is how you add it to your uh, theme if you wanted to. But since we did it as a plugin, all we have to do is add something to our functions file. So I'm just going to grab this sample code here, copy that, open my theme files, and then, uh, like the instructions say, you can add it to your functions file. But I like to uh, break things out a little bit. So in my INC, I'm going to add a new file, paste this code in there, save it as. Um, just do something like metaboxes.php save that and we need to add some PHP opening tags up here to get this file going save that so uh, now that we have this example in there we can go to our functions file and we need to add uh, make a call to that new file that we made so our functions know that that file exists so let's go down here Meta boxes, meta boxes, save that. So now uh, our functions file is calling this file, and we should have these three custom meta fields in our page. I know it's going to be on the page because this object types um, has this array of page, and this is where you can add, you know, if you want it on your post, if you want it on a custom post type, if you want it on a specific page, if you want it on a taxonomy, things like that. All right here. So this is going. This goes over all that in this examples function. If you go into this example function, kind of scroll down here, read what these are. Uh, you can see here that this is pretty much the example that we're adding. This um, it's going to be on the page. It's adding these fields, and these are all the different fields that uh, CMB2 offers out of box. So if you're looking for a certain thing, like you know website URL time, time zone, all different kinds of things. So you keep scrolling, there's a lot of different fields that you can add. But what I wanted to show is down here, uh, see this is an example on how to add it just to a specific page. This is adding it to a page, but it's giving it uh, the ID of the page, which is two. So it's only gonna show this custom field on the about page. All right, so now that we know that these custom fields are going to show up on our page, let's go into our dashboard, go to pages, go to sample page, and there you have it. We have these um, three new custom meta fields in our pages. So now we can just start adding some text. Test. Here's a URL. email at email.com update that make sure they save it looks like they do save so the last step here is to display this on the front end of our site so if we go to sample page we want to display these somewhere so since they're on our page in our theme files we of course want to go to page and then we'll notice that it's getting the template part of page so in our template part we got a page here and then depending on where you want to display these fields, is this is where you need to show it. So we can go back to the wiki to get some example code here. 
and this is pretty much showing us how to display our meta boxes on the front end. So let's grab this code, copy that, and I'll just do it underneath the entry content here, just for an example. So your prefix text in our meta box, you see your prefix. I normally change this to my theme name, so in my case it'd be help WP. But for now, just keep keep it as it is for a little example here. So it's going to grab this field here, your example text. So what this line of code is doing is it's uh, getting the post meta type, which is what we added in the back end, and the ID of it is your prefix text, and it's setting it to this dollar sign text variable here. So once it's set in there, then we're going to just echo it out down here. So let's save that and refresh and you'll see that test is here. Awesome. So you can see here that um, there's even more taking this to a further. We'll grab this code here and this will be all of our fields now. So we can replace this. Let's clean it up a bit. Save that. So now we have the text, the email, and the URL all from our back end. So if we reload that, you can see test, email, and the website URL all right there. So notice that uh, escape underscore HTML is email escape URL. These are all data validations, and I recommend uh, if you're going to start adding these meta boxes to your WordPress theme to go over um, this data validation page right here. It's on the WordPress codex and this is ensures that uh, it's escaping things properly so people don't put in you know code that could hurt your site or be able to hack into your site. So this is very important to sanitize all the data that's displaying on the front end of your site. So the last thing I want to do before I close out this video is kind of show you what I'm talking about uh, about your prefix and that's in the meta boxes um, file that I added. Uh, let's first change all the text domains from this CMB2. Copy that. Do a find and replace. I'm going to find and replace all CMB2 text domains with my text domain for my theme. Replace all. And this will help um, do translations for your theme if you're going to disperse your theme or sell your theme and uh, other people need to translate it into their language. Uh, and then the last thing here is your prefix and I'm going to change this to help WP. So that variable prefix is going to be all of these. So I if I save that and we look on the front end, you can still see that it's showing up. That's because this value is still saved in the back end of our site as um, you know your prefix underscore text. So it's still in the database as that. But if you go to our sample page in the back end, all pages, sample page, you can see that these fields are blank now because we changed that prefix. If we update and we look in the front end, you see that they're still showing. So if we go to the front end of our site and we change this to help WP text underscore text and we reload, you see that it's, it's gone now. So another example. Save that and you reload the front end. You can see now, now it's showing up again. So that's a pretty quick tutorial on adding uh, custom meta fields to your WordPress theme. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.